Hello, honeys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Dunyeko Chabalala. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And if you are joining me for the first time, a warm welcome to you. Okay, today, guys, I want us to talk about... I want us to talk about, and I also want to talk to, those people who deny us opportunities. Those people who know of great opportunities but they don't tell us. Those people who know of job opportunities and they know that we meet the requirements, but they still won't recommend us. Guys, why are you like that? Why do you have that heart? Such a dark heart. Why are you that selfish? Like, honestly, what is going to happen to you if you recommend someone? What is going to happen to you if you one day take someone's TV and hand it over at HR where you work? what are you going to lose like what is going to happen to you that month maybe when you're filling up your petrol because you recommended someone you won't be able to pay your bond or something is going to happen to you or you're going to lose something valuable if you decide to give that person an opportunity that someone else one day saw in you and gave you that opportunity today because you're okay you are denying it to someone else guys that is so wrong you know, to those people, I'm actually giving you a challenge right now. Stay in a dark room, switch off the light, and then light one candle. From that candle, light another one, and another one, and another one, until you get to whatever number you want. And see what's going to happen. The room will look even more brighter. That is exactly what happens when you give someone an opportunity. You understand? A candle won't lose its light by lighting another candle but it will make the room look even more brighter i repeat a candle won't lose its light by lighting another candle but it will make the room look even more brighter i hope you always remember this you understand opportunity that someone can do with and you decide not to tell them. I hope you always remember with a candle won't lose its light by lighting another candle. Because yo, this is so wrong. You know, I've been in that situation where a friend of mine knew about an opportunity that could set me up for life. You understand? She knew that I met the requirements, you know? But actually, knowing is an understatement. She had direct access. She had the power to pick me. She had the power to say yes to me. But she chose to go with someone else. A stranger, for that matter. Someone that she doesn't even know. You understand? It had. It had so bad. But guess what? Today... I'm doing way better than them, honey. I am doing way better than them. Yeah, <laughs> that's how God works. You understand? So, um, but one thing that I've learned along the way is that, you know, it is mostly our friends and our families who do us dirty like that. You understand? It is the people that are close to us. It could be your aunt, your cousin, your uncle, your sister, your brother who deny you that opportunity. You know why? Because they know you. Yes, they know you. They know your power. They know your strength. They know your capabilities. They know the star that is in you. They know, good see, if you were ever had to be given an opportunity, you will shine. They know, Uguti, you're a diamond in a rough. You just need to be polished. They know, Uguti, you, you could rise above the stars. They know, Uguti, the sky is the limit for you. That's why you're not supposed to succeed because they fear your power. You are that fierce to them. And I hope you know that about yourself. They know, Uguti, when you don't even need a door to open. You just need a window to open. And you are in. And you will run with the baton. And they will never 
recognize you and you will be unstoppable you will be untouchable that is why they won't give you an opportunity to succeed an opportunity to shine i hope we are news you know uh but what i can say Uguti, you know to everyone who is in this situation who is going through this i've also been there you understand so sorry to everyone who's in this situation i want to say this to you and i hope we'll see even tomorrow when you wake up you remember this even the next day you remember this until things change for you Uguti, you didn't get to where you are today because they recommended you you didn't get to where you are today because they recommended you you are here today by the grace of God and you shall continue to live by his grace. So whether they recommend you or they don't, you are going to make it. You understand? Maybe God doesn't want them to help you because they will be breathing down your neck. They will remind you each and every day. You won't even be able to chew a, a chewing gum. They will remind you every day, Uguti, your success is because of them. So maybe that is why God doesn't want them to help you. Your path will still go the way that it is supposed to go. Whether they help you or not. I know it hurts. I know it is very, very difficult to comprehend why would someone you love, why would a family member do you like that? But it is okay. One day you will understand why it had to happen the way that it happened. And you'll be fine. You will succeed. You will meet the requirements. You understand? And one day those doors will open for you there's a time for everything it's just that when you are in the situation it seems like it's taking too long you understand when you are still in that dark place when you are still in that situation you feel like it is taking so long you understand but the day you come out you'll actually be like oh six months oh it was a year you understand but when you are still there it just felt like so so long on this one guys i am speaking from experience I am speaking from experience because I've been at a place where I was <laughs> at my lowest. You understand? I woke up every day with no hope. I didn't understand what was going on. Sometimes I would try to pray and then words just ran out. And I would still ask God, why? Why me? You understand? But when it is your time, you will know what it is. Now this, now this is my time. Now this is my time to shine. And I hope when that time comes, ne, that opportunity, you won't get it from this person who's denying it to you right now. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you soon.